Hello, I'm Steve Agee. Hello there, and I'm Matt Berry. And we're here to talk to Queen of the Stone Age. Queens. Of the Stone Age, who it says here are a very successful hard rock act in the US. That's right, Matt. They're about to embark on their first studio album in five years. Let's go have a look. Secret of the Sound. This, I'm told, is the band's workshop, where they store their instruments and look like they mend their guitars over there. It's a bit of a mess, um, but that's what you should be looking at. That's right, Matt. That's a lot of guitars up there. You might say it's a guitarded amount of guitars. Secret of the Sound. Okay, so I'm here with John, who is the lead singer. Yeah, John, I mean, and Josh. Josh, who is the lead singer of the band Queens of the Stone Age. And uh, this, I imagine, is where you record all of your music, is it? Yeah, I'm, most, most of the music. Um, we spend a lot of time here. I, I spend a lot of time here. So is this, is this your room? Yeah, um, we record in here. I've been, uh, I've been staying here. I've got to say, some of this stuff looks shit. I mean, is, is, have, you, have you kept this for sort of you know, sentimental guess, reasons? Is this like your grandfather's or something? No, is, well, why does this? I just... Uh, does it work? Of, no, no. That one works, and then the rest, no. Was that uh, fairly cheap? Uh, I th normally it would be, yeah. But I, I think I overpaid this a little bit. This stuff is crap. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't... Yeah, it's... I think it's probably, you're probably right. But you know, like I said, I'm no expert. Um, no, I'm, I'm actually not either. But but I but these over. If, if you, I, yeah. No, sorry, I was going to say, how many people are in this band? Why would have you heard? Well, there's about fifty guitars. Well, those are mostly um, other people's. We do a little storage thing here too. It's not going well. And we're stood on where the drums would be. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, they would be. Now it's. Uh, Mostly just, just dogs. Yeah. So, do you play the drums here? Oh, man. That's not working at all. What is that? Roll, roll dead. It doesn't, I don't know the commands like Troy does. Yeah. But he's like tiny butler. British dogs don't do that kind of thing. I've never seen them. Well, this is more of a well, hillbilly dog. Well, I... To be honest, I'd rather not stand on this if it's all right. No, no, it's there too, though. Whatever's there is either gone for good or or, or there forever. Well, Can we get off this actually? Because yeah. that's making me feel I'm sick. Actually, there's some uh, there's some pills in the other room you're going to need to take. But I want to show you some other stuff. Yeah. Secrets of the sound. Well, here I am with the bass player for Queens of the Stone Age, Mikey Schumann. How's it going, Mikey? Uh, now, Mikey, you, you've been in other bands as well, uh, like Mini Mansions and Wires on Fire, is that correct? Um, now, uh, what can you tell us, Mike, about this new album uh, from a bass player point of view? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. I can see you're busy. Um, thanks for the interview, Mike. Oh yeah, totally, yeah. Anytime, man. Secrets of the Sound. It just, you know, it's one of those things where a uh, uh, carpenter needs tools. I hear what you say. And then, um, I guess a lot of the stuff could go. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's... You know, not my area, but I would get rid of a lot of this crap, I think. Yeah. Sit. Yeah, I think the rest is Troy's. Because you could get rid of a lot of this shit, couldn't you, and, you know, have... I suppose... You know, yeah. what do they call it? Digital stuff, you know, stuff that... Right, virtual you know, stuff. Is bringing bringing work. Vir virtual stuff. Even that. That's where you don't have the stuff, but it is yours. Yeah. yeah. That's that newer... St it's a newer program. Sit. Then you'd have enough space, you know, to do whatever you like. As it stands, you're a bit fucked because there's all this crap that's, you know, sort of yeah. taking up all this room. Yeah. You know, these kids' Sit. organs. Yeah. These are lovely, though, I've got to say. You know all those? Yeah, your artwork. Is that you? Huh? With the knife? 
That's me with the knife, but that, that's a family thing. That's a Christmas photo from before. My family um, comes from a long line of knife throwers. Okay. Sid, I'd love to have you come back and just... Is that Princess Anne? There? Princess, uh, no, that's a Navajo lady on a horse. Secrets of the South! Uh, hey, look who I found. It's Queens of the Stone Age multi-instrumentalist Dean Fertitta. Now, Dean was lead singer and lead guitarist of Wax Wings from 1997 to 2005. And since then, he's been in such amazing bands as the Rack on Tours and the Dead Weather. It's the Wax Wings, Steve. The Wax Wings. Now, Dean, what can you tell us about this new album, as opposed to, say, Era Vulgaris? Why would you even ask that? Lilac. Smells good. Secret of the South. Okay, so your name's Troy. Is Troy your first name or your last name? That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So it's your first name. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So it says here uh, that you play the guitar, keys, and lap steel. What's a lap steel? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, it's it's a guitar. Do you put on your your lap? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you in some previous bands, one of which was called Perfect Circles. Now, why would you need Perfect Circles to join this band? You know, it's going great. Cheers, man. Anyway, you seem very pleased with the way you looked. Secrets of the South. What's this? Oh, you mean this giant mint? No, there's a severed ear attached to a mic stand. Yeah, well, let me show you. That's uh, actually a human ear. We, uh, we experiment with a lot of different recording techniques and, and styles, and, and uh, a fan actually sent this one in. And, um, sent you their own ear? Yeah, you know, to use, because then this, the music sounds just as if you're hearing it. Good God. He sent you his own ear in the post for you to use on your album. Well, I mean, I, I, I did ask him. We're hearing what the human ear hears. Is, hears. Yeah. I think it's revolutionary because uh, uh, it's been getting a lot of people really angry. Yeah. No, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Who's that? Oh, that? That's Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was out. It is. It is. Are you a Swayze man? Roadhouse? Which is one of my favorite films of all time. Ghost? Yeah. You know? You'll be my regular Saturday night thing. Yeah, you'll be my regular Saturday night thing, baby. That's great. I that's mean, that's amazing. Fan club member? Used to be, not for a while. Yeah, I actually do the uh, Encino chapter in a kind of LA basin. Because he could dance, you know? It wasn't like he was just oh, no. yeah. one trick kind of pony. No, no. He was a multiple ponies. Yeah. And, and, and I think. He was a proud pony. Yeah, proud, a prancing. Dancing pony. Yeah. And uh, Swayze, I'm Swayze for feeling so lonely. You know the rest yeah, of that. Yeah, that, yeah. Old, that old you wrote chest. that, didn't no. you? Well, yeah. This was great. It was great. I'm not so keen on the dog, if I'm honest. Well, you know, you never guess what the dog's name is. Patrick? No, it's Rosie. Oh, right. I just didn't think you'd be able to guess it. No, I wouldn't have guessed it. 